Welcome to the broadcast of Taraba News, the voice of Tarabans. My name is Ira Daniel Kukui. First, the news headlines. Special advisor on Muslim religion affairs. Welcome 1008 Taraba State Pilgrims back home. Taraba Education Boards expresses deep concern over students denied WAEC and NECO exams. Taraba State Electricity Bill economically competitive, said Commissioner. Taraba Governor pledges good governance to sustain PDP dominance. Now, the news in full. On behalf of Governor Abu Jefas, Special Advisor on Muslim Religion Affairs, al Haji Husseini Ismail, has welcomed Taraba State pilgrims back home. Lilian Yakubu files in the reports. al Haji Husseini Ismail, commanded Governor Abu Kifas for allocating 117 seats for Taraba State pilgrims and sponsoring the entire pilgrimage by provisions of medical facilities. The special advisor further thanked the governor for his expansional leadership and dedication to the well-being of the good people of Taraba State. The commissioner of education, Taraba State, Dr. Augustina Godwin, made a significant visit to Sali Udugo, expressing deep concern over students being denied the opportunity to write their WAEC and NECO exams. During her surprise visit to GDSS Kufai, the commissioner was alarmed to learn from students that some were asked to pay school fees amounting to 3750 3, by school's cashier, Peshan Garba, yet were still prevented from writing their exams. Commissioner of Education Dr. Godwin Agostina has also said those trying to sabotage free education policy of Governor Abu Kefas will not go unpunished. Lilian Yakubu files in the report. Commissioner of Education Dr. Godwin Agostina has also said that those trying to sabotage the free education policy of Governor Abu Kefas will not go unpunished. The commissioner stated this yesterday when she led other staff of the ministry to visit Government Day Secondary School Sali Udogo in Jalingo and Government Day Secondary School Kofai in Ardukola. It was discovered that the photo taken during the exams were substituted with photo of known student. The exams officer responsible for this malpractice was identified as David Bazoga. The commissioner emphasized the importance of protecting the rights of vulnerable children, particularly those from poor background whose parents cannot advocate for, the, for, for them. She expressed her determination to defend these children, even at personal risk, and condemned those within the educational system who sought to undermine these efforts. She also promised to follow up on the progress of the investigation and to provide updates to the affected student and their parents. Lilian Yakubu reporting Taraba News.